Buhari presidency saying case of Bure the change operators allegedly funding Boko Haram is confidential, Senator Ndume. Senator representing Bono South Ali Ndume has opposed moves by the Nigerian government to opt for a secret trial of the 400 bureau to change operators alleged to be financial sp- sponsors of Boko Haram. Sahara reporters recall that the businessmen were arrested a week ago by security operatives in an operation coordinated by the Defense Intelligence Agency and in collaboration with the Department of State Services. Nigerian Financial Intelligence Unit and the Central Bank of Nigeria, the operation was said to have been approved by President Buhari in 2020. Indume, while addressing newsmen in Abuja on Sunday, said, The presidency said recently that Nigerians should be shocked if it revealed the identities of those sponsoring Boko Haram insurgents. Can you imagine that 400 BDC operators are the people funding Boko Haram? When the BDC operators are arrested, what will the government do with them? The presidency is already saying their case is confidential. What is confidential about it? Ndume urged the Nigerian government to expose the identity of the sponsors and those arrested. He said those found guilty must be brought to justice. The presidency should expose the identity of the BDC operators so far arrested and carry out their trial in public. If any of them is innocent, they should or he should be allowed to go while those found guilty may be made to face the music. When I was wrongly accused, I was tried publicly and I was vindicted. The trial lasted six years in an open court. If there's any criminal activity linked to anybody, no matter how highly placed, let the evidence be placed before the public. There should be no secret trial. Nowadays, criminals are arrested and paraded with further, without further action. Nobody knows what happened to the people who killed 11 soldiers in Benway recently. What happens to those who beheaded policemen in Cross River State? If everyone is doing what he's supposed to do as defined by our constitutional laws, we should not have these problems. Citizens should expose suspicious movements. Ndume's statement confirms the higher reporter's report about how Nigeria's Minister of Justice and Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami SAN, was unhappy and angry about the, res- the recent arrest of some persons allegedly funding Boko Haram terrorists, including operators of the Bureau de Change, said to have been facilitating the transfer of money to the terrorists. According to a top source, apart from Alami exposing the raid, the AGF also opposed having the names of those arrested released to the public. Alami was opposed to the raid and now he opposes having the names of those arrested revealed. So he is fighting the task force that carried out the raid. He is saying it was illegal. You see, some of those arrested were people he had freed in his special fiat court that sat in a, in Niger State and part of Abuja. Those guys are wealthy and he wants to collect money from them and let them off, a source had told Sahara reporters. Wow. Um, so now he says, th- he just went straight to the point. Are the B, are the BDC operators. So the bureau, the change operators are alleged to be financial sponsors of Boko Haram. I mean, Mudume has a point here, uh, no matter what the perception of him is, why should cases like this be private? All of a sudden now they want to follow some, I don't know what they want to follow, but um, all of a sudden they want to make, I mean, we know the judiciary is already corrupt in the country, so we're not expecting that. I mean, he used himself as an example in terms of how his trial uh, was public and how long it lasted for. So, yeah, with the way Nigeria works, because, again, there's a, there's been a new law that handles any ex in Lagos State specifically, that handles any um, EFCC um, crime that is held or investigation held um, on the necks of you know the ex governors of the state, they are not going to be handed over from private investigators to state investigators, so they can officially remain confidential. That is like crimes, and so obviously, it it seems as if this can relate in terms of them trying to cover their tracks as legal state and what they might have had to do with this whole thing. Again, it is just I don't even know at this point. The first reaction here says. These people are telling us how they prefer to run the nation. It is up to the rest to say, in one voice, no. 
It's unacceptable. Over 180 million people cannot be taken for a ride. People must stand up. How could leaders of a nation under threat from terrorists want to keep their funders a secret? The fact that they even know who's funding this and there has literally been no expose this whole time. So they know. So, so they know who's doing this. So they know the root of the problem. And they have not tried anything that we know of to sort it out. So it's like, how can you have a connection or have an idea of who is causing mayhem? And for so many years, you have not even tried or nothing has been done about it. What? Oh, my days. Um, so, yeah, I don't... I don't... Oh, please. Somebody says, we want a real case file and verdict, not the case and verdict of APC. They want to pull out names from the case. We no agree. Who is we? Okay, please. Um, somebody says... Too many seek and hide. That is very obvious to the eye in Nigerian Niger security challenge. Um, who are these Buru? The change that their matter should be treated as confidential. I'm wondering again why these hide and seek games in again in this crucial moment of our life. Um, I don't I don't understand what is going on. Like, I it's so confusing. Like. You, of course, we have to remain calm and not think of ways to be productive about how to go about the situation. But it's definitely um, worri worrisome that potentially or allegedly the government may know who is sponsoring these book crime attacks and are not doing anything about it. I don't understand. Oh, well, someone has a point here. It says, just as they are solidly, solidly behind Pantami. Um, so they shall be solidly behind the men of the Bureau of the Change. If the federal government is really fighting insurgency, why keep the identities of the men that destroyed properties of and lives, that destroyed millions of lives and property a secret? They are all accomplices in this game. They really all are. And I think that it's just so blatantly evil. Like, I don't, I've never really seen anything like that. Like, how can you just be so vile? Really? Like, how? How can you be so vile? It's so, so sad. But yeah, another uh, comment here says, because Buhari and his cabals are among them, okay, um, it is no longer cryptocurrency, it's buried the change. Confused people, Imam Sheikh, Imi Fele, um, the Boko Haram CB, the Boko CB and Ogahafa, okay, this doesn't make sense. Um, useless Southeast and South South governors are busy sending fighter jets and tanks, helicopters to kill the innocent citizens. At this point, it's, it's the country we're in. So yeah, put what you think about it in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe.